So uh, back in the summer, um, there was popular activism on the island and indeed all around the world um, with regards to Black Lives Matter following uh, events uh, in the United States. Um, the Isle of Man and indeed the Isle of Man government has uh, one of its four key areas as, a, as an inclusive and caring society. So the Council of Ministers tasked the department with um, looking at the opportunities and implications for young people for education. And uh, we constituted a working group uh, made up of Isle of Man organisations such as uh, the Education Department, the Education Service, uh, Manx National Heritage, Culture Vannin, the One World Centre. And we uh, work with and continue to work with uh, the activist groups on the island, so people of colour, Isle of Man, and the Hardy Commission, who have been uh, nudging and uh, publicising and lobbying um, government and other uh, influential figures to raise uh, awareness of ethnic minorities on the island, ethnic minority people, customs, culture, heritage, and what that uh, what value that adds to to Isle of Man society. How unusual is it when looking at a, a, a changing curriculum, essentially, how unusual is it then to go out to the public and, and seek this feedback? Uh, I wouldn't say uh, it's unusual. I would say that um, it's important that uh, in such matters we have as a starting point uh, the views and the thoughts and the feelings of the wider Isle of Man community. Um, being Manx is very much a feeling as well as being a place, a, a, a geographical statement. Um, what makes up being Manx is all sorts of things from your traditional uh, areas such as the TT, uh, such as um, folklore, the Mananian, the story of, of Tinwald. Um, but more recently, the Isle of Man has become a much more diverse place. Uh, and it's how much different kinds of people, different uh, from different backgrounds, from different ethnicities, how much they are part of and add value to Manx culture in, in 2020. So where within the curriculum would looking at ethnic minority history and culture be taught? All over the place, really. I mean, in primary, um, primary education, um, it's dealt with thematically through uh, studies of, of countries or areas of the world or periods of history. And indeed, in secondary education, it's uh, delivered through subjects like history, uh, geography, through subjects like PSHE. And um, we are asking um, young people, uh, teachers and people in the community, uh, whether um, following what's happened more recently, uh, we could um, enhance the curriculum and um, align uh, Manx history, Manx culture, uh, with key individuals who are Manx, who have lived here, and see what uh, that can do for young people's understanding and their awareness and their tolerance of, of people from all sorts of different ethnic backgrounds. You've touched on it a bit already, but how important is it that the Manx curriculum can be adapted like this when, when new issues emerge? I think it's really important. I think the UK government looked at this and uh, decided that no adaptations would need to be made. Uh, we, of course, have um, the luxury and, and, and autonomy to, to, to decide where we want to go with uh, our curriculum uh, on the Isle of Man. And uh, it's important that uh, uh, schools are at the, um, at the heart of that decision making, but indeed uh, pupils, uh, parents and, and the community are involved in those, in those decisions as well. And this survey is going to act as a real good base of um, public opinion, the opinion of, uh, of students, of pupils, teachers, uh, and it will give us a really good base within the working group, uh, which will include teachers as well, um, to uh, resource, to support, uh, to give guidance to uh, schools and teachers uh, when they are um, touching on these uh, really important uh, and emotive issues. Now, the survey is open until the 18th of December. What happens next? So what we're going to do is... Um, promote the survey as, as widely as we can. Um, groups like People of Colour Isle of Man are already uh, working with schools, uh, secondary schools and, and primary schools, visiting, speaking to pupils, interacting with them, opening the dialogue. And I think the important thing uh, with regards to the survey and the work we do afterwards is that um, we shouldn't have to wait for uh, a tragic event somewhere in the world for awareness 
and consideration and tolerance of people of different ethnic backgrounds. Um, we should be able to embed uh, those uh, character traits uh, in the Manx psyche and in particular the psyche of young people. So when could we see this being in the classroom? So we're going to um, have a look at the, uh, the survey results. Uh, we've already got the working group, which we'll add teachers to. And part of what we will do is provide links to and create resources for schools to use uh, when uh, teaching uh, about people from different backgrounds um, from age four right through to, to, to when they leave school and, and enter adulthood.